So the face mask wearing saga continues to go on. I'm Jan from YouMakeItSimple.com here with another tip on how to make your face mask wearing experience a little bit more enjoyable and doable. Perhaps you're an elderly person or someone who is has limited range of motion in their shoulders that can't get their hands above their head, let alone behind their head, to tie a mask. We have children who don't know how to tie yet and putting repetitively their masks on can be kind of cumbersome and challenging. And for those simply who do not want to tie their mask every time they go into the store or into the doctor's office, wherever you're going out and about. I'm going to show you how to take your tied masks and convert them and modify them into an over the ear loop and make it adjustable. You don't need any hardware or a sewing machine to do this. Very simple and quick to do. Let me show you how it's done. So there are a lot of different varieties of face masks kicking around out there. I have my own variety of face masks that I have made and you can find those tutorials on my channel. Make sure you check those out and you can take those tutorials and patterns and modify them with this new method if you choose to make ear loops instead of the tying. So let me show you with this mask. This is one of my cinched methods and it has the long stretchy knit ties made from t-shirts, upcycled t-shirts, and I encourage you to watch that video as well because I really find this fabric so much more comfortable than elastic. However, you can use elastic or other materials if you choose. So if your mask does have a nose wire at the top of the mask, locate where that is and we're going to be working with the bottom tie first. Take the bottom tie, make a loop, wrap the tie around and poke it through the loop and pull that while you're pulling down this. And we want this knot to be as close as the, to the mask as possible. So I'll pull that down and then I'm going to slide that to make that loop smaller. But for now, we're going to leave that open quite a bit while we take the top tie, slide it through into the loop, and then we're going to cinch this by pulling it tight. And that will allow this to slide and adjust. This tie, we want to make a knot at the end so it doesn't come out because once this is cinched up it's going to be difficult to thread that through again and this will allow it to not slide through. You'll want to try this on to make sure you're getting the right length and that you're not cutting off too much and to double secure this bottom tie I'm going to wrap it around and just knot it one more time and pull it tight before I cut it then I'm going to just cut that. Or you can let it dangle down if you want to. So I'll show you what it looks like with both before I cut it way down. Let's do this other side to repeat the process. Make a loop, wrap it around, poke it through so it makes another loop and then pull it down towards the mask. Doesn't matter if this is really big at first, because we're gonna be sliding that and shortening it. So then you can pull it to make it smaller, take the top tie and thread it through the loop, and then cinch it. And you have your slidable, adjustable ear loop. So to get it so the both of these bottom ties are the same length, I'm gonna fold that over adjust that to the same length, and then make a knot in the same place, just so they're even. And then you can clip those off. Cut those off. Let me show you how to put these on. 
nose wire over your nose, over your ear. Feel for the knotted tie. Hold right here on the knot and pull it to a comfortable length. Adjust it. So you can obviously make this smaller if you want to. There you have your mask. Easy to put on. Hope you can share this with those who need the ear loops instead of the ties. Stay healthy, stay happy. Make sure you're subscribing to my channel. Stay tuned for upcoming classes. We'll see you next time.